Good morning from Indonesia. Warmest welcome to K Hotelier CC. K Hotelier CC is a channel with an objective to help you develop your career as a hotelier or in other business or industry. And eventually for everyone who would like to achieve genuine happiness and self-satisfaction in our personal life. The title of today's video is I would like to be a hotelier again in my next life. Yes, I would like to live my next life as a hotelier again if another life exists and given to me. From this statement, it is quite obvious I have been extremely satisfied with my own career for last 19 years. If you are interested to know why, please stay with me for the rest of the show. There are three good reasons why I want to be a hotelier again in my next life. The first reason is very simple. It is because I want to enjoy a successful career in my next life again. In my opinion, anybody can make a successful career in hotel industry if you want to. I have to admit that a hotelier is not a very popular job. Your income will be one of the lowest, especially in the beginning of your career. Your working hours will be longer than others, and to make it worse, it is not likely to be fixed. Sometimes you will need to work in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon, in the evening, and even during the night time. When other people enjoy national holidays with their friends and families, you might need to work because national holidays could be busier than on normal days for many hotels. In my case, after my marriage, I was not able to spend any Christmas or New Year's Eve with my wife for the first six years of my married life. However, ironically, due to this disadvantage, your career development could be easier and faster. Internal competitions for promotions, transfers to other departments, or even to other hotels could be much easier than other business or industry. More importantly, your hard work will have a better chance to be recognized and will help you progress promptly into a higher position with a very short period of time. If you choose to get a job in a, a very popular industry like banking, finance, manufacturing, etc., I doubt how many people can have a dream to progress their career into the top positions, such as senior managers, directors, or CEOs. In hotel industry, if you have right attitudes towards your job, if you have a passion on your career, If you are willing to go extra miles to make your career successful, you have a very good chance to make your career into the senior positions, such as general manager. This is the first reason I would love to become a hotelier again in my next life, because I want my next life to be successful again. The second reason I want to share is more important, And it is because hotel career will help you to become a better person as a human being. In my opinion, there are many industries where you have to win over other people in order for you to make your own career successful. In many cases, you will have to keep fighting to be a winner by defeating your colleagues or co-workers by achieving a better result by maximizing your own personal job competencies. Basically, you are likely to find yourself in a constant competitive environment. Success as a hotelier is slightly different. In hotel business, people are main products and services. Therefore, your success as a hotelier is coming from your ability of how well you can cooperate with your colleagues, how well you can sympathize or empathize other people's feelings, how well you can collaborate with others to create the maximum level of synergy. And you will be able to achieve this kind of job competencies or the result you would like to produce only when you can obtain genuine trust and respect from other people your colleagues, your team members, your boss, your guests. Therefore, you will be constantly forced to push yourself 
to become a better colleague, a better manager, a better leader, and eventually a better person. For this second reason, I will find a chance to make another video to share my unforgettable experience with my previous teams. The third reason is more fundamental. I genuinely believe that you have a better chance to live a happy life if you are a hotelier. I wondering why? Before I give you the reason, we need to have a basic understanding about happiness first. First of all, we need to understand that happiness is a kind of emotion, uh, same like being sad, angry, lonely, etc. All emotions have uh, two very distinctive uh, natures. The first nature of emotion is the fact that emotions can be created only when there is a stimulus given to you. For example, if you are feeling hurt, it should mean that there was a negative stimulus given to you which has made you feel hurt. It could be a physical or verbal abuse from other people. It could be a terrible news or stories you have just heard or something like that. The second nature of emotion is more crucial to understand and it is the fact that emotions do not last for a long time unless there is the same stimulus given to you repeatedly. We need to know that most of stimulus is just one off and it cannot make us have same kind or level of emotion over and over. As an example, you might have an experience to a breakup with your loved one. When we break up with a boyfriend or a girlfriend, we genuinely feel very sad, hurt, lonely, and terrible. We feel like our life is over, nothing matters anymore. We think my life will be miserable for the rest of my life. Then what usually happens after one month, after three months, one year? Do we usually feel the same? No, it does not happen that way. It doesn't matter how strong the stimulus was, how big the emotion was, eventually all emotions will go and fade away. One of the biggest reasons why many people are not happy with their life is coming from the fact that they did not notice or understand their emotion of happiness can be generated by only a series of positive stimulus. Many people still believe they can achieve the feeling of happiness from what they own, so-called status. And it is a big mistake. My definition of status is something you already have, something you already own. It could be your wealth, could be your house, social fame, and everything you have with you as a part of your daily life permanently. But we need to understand that we cannot be happy with something we already have. Let me give you a very easy example. Do you still remember how happy you were when you bought your first mobile phone, or first laptop computer, first iPad, first motorbike, and so on? I still remember when I bought my first car back in 2000. I was in the USA and I bought this very very old car second-handed with around 3000 US dollar. But I remember I was so excited with my new car. So I was washing my car every day, sometimes two times per day. I even bought a cover to keep the car clean and safe overnight. How long do you think I was like that? For three years? Um, one year? Six months? If I remember correctly, after two, three weeks, I was already starting to take it granted as if I had that car uh, for a while already. And my feeling of happiness was already fading away. Our happiness with a position or social fame is the same. Back in 2014, I was working at Pullman Jakarta Central Park as an operation manager. One day, I received a job offer to be the general manager of Novotel Lombok. Obviously, that was my first position as a general manager. And on that night, my wife and me, we were hugging together and crying together to celebrate. 
That's because GM was the position I was dreaming for a long time and both of us became very emotional on that night talking about all the challenges we went through together to get there eventually. Yes, it was a huge event for me and one of the biggest moments of happiness in my life. My question after four years is, do you think I will be still waking up every morning and saying, wow, I am the general manager of the hotel. I love my life. I'm so happy. You already know it doesn't happen that way. It doesn't matter what kind of high positions or respected job title you have. Once it becomes yours, it doesn't work as a stimulus. And if it is not stimulus, you cannot have an emotion of happiness. So we need to stop thinking that all the doctors and lawyers or banking company CEOs will be very happy with their life. So how can we make ourselves happy then? There are two conditions you need to achieve if you want to live your life as a happy person. First of all, your today must be better than yesterday. It doesn't matter how humble your current situation is. What's important is you need to provide yourself with a sense of achievement and self-satisfaction by making a small improvement into your life on a regular basis. If I share my own career development, I started my hotel career as telephone operator. After six months, I got a promotion to become front office agent. Then I tried food and beverage department as a waiter. After one year, I moved back to front office, responsible for all different kinds of reports and the reception operation overnight. After one year, I received my first managerial job title as assistant night manager, then promoted again to night manager after six months. After spending around three years at night, I was promoted into reservation manager, the position I enjoyed over three years. Then my next mission was revenue manager who is responsible for hotel pricing strategies. Then I moved to a sales and marketing department as director of sales and marketing. I carried out my role as a DOSM for just two years before becoming operation manager. Then after spending one and a half years as an operation manager, I received my first mission as a general manager. If I look back, I managed to receive 10 promotions throughout my 19 years hotel career. It means I was able to celebrate my small achievements and success at work at least every two years time. This is why I believe hotelier is perfect career to make your life happy and satisfactory and it will give you a lot of positive stimulus on a regular basis. If you remember, I said there are two conditions you need to achieve to live a happy life. And the second condition is to have a hope or great expectations about tomorrow. When you can have a hope that tomorrow your life will become better than today, you can stay very positive about today's situation. You can start enjoy dealing with today's problems, challenges or unsatisfactory situations. On the other hand, if you can foresee that tomorrow your life will not be as good as today, you will not be able to enjoy our today feeling worried and afraid of future. As I mentioned earlier, I received 10 different promotions throughout 19 years hotel career. If we experience a series of repeated success throughout our life, success becomes our habit. Once success becomes our habit, our future becomes something we always look forward to, not something we need to worry or afraid. In the sense, I feel very grateful that I was able to develop my career as a hotelier, which is just perfect job to make success as habit of my life. On today's video, I have given you three big reasons why I would love to become a hotelier again in my next life. First of all, we can all have a better chance to enjoy successful career and develop our career into senior positions if we have the right attitude and passion to go extra miles. 
Secondly, in order for us to be successful in hotel industry, we are likely to be forced to push ourselves to become a better human being. Last but not least, hotelier is a perfect career to achieve a happy life which will provide you with the habit of success and eventually great expectation about your future. That's all for today and I hope you have enjoyed today's show. If you have, please click on like. I have a lot more to share with you. If you'd like to hear from me again for the next show, please subscribe K Hotelier CC. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all a very happy and productive day ahead. Bye-bye.